The River State Independent Electoral Commission, RISIEC, have been accused by some political parties in River State of not giving grants to parties participating in the coming local government elections. The chairman of the African Action Congress, AAC, Progress Obokuma, explained that although they were asked to submit their account numbers in the expression of interest form given to them by RISIEC, RISIEC is yet to pay the grant. He said that the chairman of the commission, Justice George Omeriji, told them that the grants for political parties had been given to the IPAC chairman, Desmond Akawa, who is also the PDP chairman in the state. Well, joining us to have this conversation is uh, Soswema Osaro, River State Chairman of the Social Democratic Party, Progress Ogbokuma. Uh, he is uh, the state chairman of the AAC in River State. And we also have uh, Mr. Samo Wanosike. He is the chairman of the Query Local Government Area. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Um, I, I'm going to start with um, the, a, um, the AAC man. Um, we, you're accusing Re Resiek. I'm going to start with you. I'm sorry, Progress. Um, you, you're accusing the um, Resiek of not giving you monies that are due you. Uh, and the elections are just around the corner. I, uh, we saw pictures and videos of your protest today. Apparently, we heard initially you were going to Resiek office and then you decided to go to government house. Um, what exactly uh, has Resiek's response been so far? The Resiek response so far? The Resiek response so far, you will even listen to Nigerian for hard facts with Dio this evening. You listen to the lies that uh, the Honorable Justice Omeriji came to uh, uh, gave, gave uh, just an, uh, he was he granted an interview with Dio on her staff, and he gave so many lies. He talked so many lies on that interview concerning these brands, and with what he told us, which was captured in camera. I have the video. I will produce the videos any day, any time. I will even start training them on social media and Twitter because if he came to radio to lie, with what we had, we had a certain overs meeting where. We have the TVC, we have the uh, AIT, we have NTA in that stakeholder meeting where Justice Kumereji told the political party chairman who were there for that meeting and their secretaries who attended that meeting that monument for political parties have been given to Abbasid Desmond Akao, who is the chairman, who also doubles as the PDP chairman. So why would Justice, uh, why would Justice Kumereji, who is a retired, a retired justice like he claimed, Come to Nigeria Info to lie that there was no such discussion. I have it on video. I asked my boy that day particularly to video him because I will use it as evidence against him any day, any time. Hmm. Interesting. So what what exactly did the justice say? Because you're saying he lied. What did he say differently from what you, according to you, uh, that, according to your said, video, what, what, what different thing did he say? What he said on Nigeria Info with a hat part with Dio. He said that he never, thought, he never said such. He said he never said such. He denied it that he never said such. That there was no time that he told, he told the stakeholders, the political party chairman and their secretaries who were there present in that stakeholders meeting that monument of political parties were given to IPAC chairman. Hmm. Now, I, I mean, so where is the money now that was promised to you? Is it, is it that Rishek is saying that there is no money that should be allocated to you? Or is but it let, that? Let, what, let, let us be fair to ourselves. Let, 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 let me come straight now. You see, there's a kind a kind of uh, arrangement between RISEC and the PDP and let's say the IPAC chairman, as I say, uh, RISEC haven't known that the budget of this election is being controlled by the PDP. You know what they did? They deliberately to exonerate themselves. They now expunge the sections and the subsections that talk about they giving political parties grants to participate in this local government elections. You understand? And if they don't have the intention of giving political parties grants who are participating in this election, then what I'm was sorry, the does we what was have the power? What I'm was sorry, the for them I'm sorry, to progress, give us a progress, interest form for progress, us to supply progress, them with can the you hear me? details of our political parties and the signatories uh, to our progress, political parties? Can, parties. Can, you, can, you, can you allow me to ask this question? Does RISEC have the powers to expunge a section in that electoral act of political parties and grants that are due them? Do they have the power to expunge it 
overnight? Is that even possible? I'm curious. Because now, I, I, I spoke, now, you, you, you see from my to deny it or to refute it. I spoke to them yesterday, yesterday when I was in respect for the inspection of the non-sensitive materials that they are moved to various LGAs. I told them they were aware. They are aware. I told them they deliberately expunged that they generated themselves because a day like this will come. And they said, yes, that I know now how this thing that uh, I should take it easy with them. They know. Hmm. Interesting. You know? So they know that. And they told me that the budget, research budget is not controlled by research. It is the PDP that controls the budget that is meant for research. So that is why they don't want to get into interstate troubles. And they have to expunge it from the guidelines. So we will not have evidence from the guidelines to sue them. I told them yesterday, I told Dr. Domenici yesterday, which he also said on air. I told him I would have sued him, if not for the sponge, the, 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 the that uh, uh, subsection and section, because it was in the 2018 guideline. Okay. Well, the PDP uh, has someone representing them on this show, so they have a right of reply. Um, the local government chairman of Equerry. Um, Honorable Wanosike, can you respond to these allegations? Because we're hearing that your party seems to be controlling the... Um, um, the budget for this local government election. How does that even work? You, your party is not the state government. Yes, we know that the PDP is in power, but should the PDP have its hands in the cookie jar for the local government elections? Well, first of all, um, I want to thank you for this opportunity to um, speak to the people of Nigeria about the local government election that is to happen 17th of February 2021. Um, if my memory serves me right, the man who just finished speaking to the world now is the same person that spoke before the commissioner of police the day before yesterday, in my very before, and lied before the commissioner of police that the state's party chairman, who happens to be the IPAC chairman of River State, instructed candidates of the People's Democratic Party to beat up candidates of other political parties, tear up, tear their posters, and make it very difficult for them to participate in the process. And I took, and I, 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 I take exception to that. And I said there in that meeting clearly that I gave him 10 minutes to withdraw that statement or he will meet me in the court of law. And he didn't really withdraw that statement. That as I speak to you, my lawyers are putting the papers together. Lock to him that the judiciary has just gone on strike and we are praying God a few days from now, they will call off their strike. And both of us will meet in the courts. I want him to come and tell the people of the world and to tell the court where that instruction was given to my humble self one of the case, who is the candidate of PDP in the Kodo local government, and also want him to bring to the court his candidates of AAC from the Kodo local government to ask him if he was harassed or if any of his posters have been torn or he have been intimidated in this election. And so hearing him speak now has just confirmed to me that it is a strategy and it is a, it is a style for, to smell people's image, to to score a political point. Well, we can understand where he's coming from. A man says he's not ready to participate in an election through his political party called APC, and he decides to bring a surrogate political party called AAC to come and discredit the process. But the, but the APC, you are hearing him speak but the from APC two sides of his mouth. The AAC and the AAC are two One, different he's saying, parties. He's saying, saying that, uh, he's saying that I, what he's directly telling me and you, is that I next will give grants to political parties for them to participate in an election. He start telling Nigerians that it's not SEC, RISEC, that will give grants for him to be able to participate in an election that is coming up in two days' time. Well, for us, I don't want to join issues with him because I know that SEC has responded and the People's Democratic Party has also responded. We don't want to get ourselves distracted with this kind of... We know where it's coming from. Is sponsored by the leader of APC, a factional leader of APC, wrote Mitch Mechi, to cause the smell to discredit the local government election. Because APC is aware if they participate in the local government election, they will be beating blue black. We don't want to worry ourselves. 
Well, the truth of the matter is that it's, the young man it, who has just spoken now It's too early in the day to call an election. You haven't even gone to the fields. You shouldn't call the election. And we are elections. moving forward with the election. And by Saturday, rivers people will vote candidates of their choice in the 23 local governments of river states and the 319 wards. I have never seen anywhere in the world where you come and say that CIEC or INEC will give grants to a political party to participate in an election. So, let me, so us, let me, oh, it has honorable, let me, let me ask this question. Let me, let me it's, ask this it's, question. It's, it's let, very, very, very funny. Honorable Wanosike, let me ask this question. Had there been any time in the Reset Act for local government elections in River State where it was ever mentioned, because he mentioned that in 2018 this happened, um, that there was any time that Reset was giving grants to these political parties to run the election? Had there been any time? You heard from him clearly. He said there was a time. And I expect that as he's speaking now, he will provide evidence. Because the accuser will be the one to prove. The burden of proof will be upon that man who has accused. For us, I don't want to, I don't work for research. I'm a candidate of an election. For me, his attitude and actions from the day I met him there before yesterday for the very first time and what he's seeing now shows clearly he's on a mission. And the mission is simple. Because we cannot win PDP, discredit the process, lie against the process, and smear the image of Honorable Justice Mereji, who wrote me a Mechi and his life. I've been trying and doing all in the Why are you so certain? Why are you so certain, well, Honorable, that, that why are you so certain that this is the workings of the Minister of Transportation? He has no dog in this fight. He's not running for local government elections. Why are you so certain that he uh, has no, 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 his no, 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 Why are you dragging him into this conversation? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Thank God you, thank God you asked this question. In 2019, until two weeks the election, APC was not going to participate in that election because Supreme Court has said so. But you know what happened now? Because Rotibia Mechi overnight brought the candidate from AAC. And that started the romance between AAC and Rotibia Mechi, the river state. And so we know that as long as Awarawa, uh, 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 Awara is there in AAC and is controlling AAC, AAC will be used as a tool to do whatever they want to do. Okay, I'm going to go back to Progress. Mr. Progress, are you still there? You come back, this one. Mr. Progress, are you there? Yeah, I'm listening to my next friend, Sam Ogonotike. Yes. Um, well, he's making accusations that you are um, flying under the radar of the APC and you are being used to discredit the PDP and RISEC. Um, what do you have to say about this? Because obviously um, it wasn't just your party. Um, the Labour Party was uh, involved. I saw other political parties at that protest. So I'm trying to understand, uh, could this really be a gang up against the PDP? You know, this is uh, uh, the Honourable Minister for transportation is an innocent man of this accusation that they are leveling against him and or on him. I don't know where they picked this um, this whole uh, narrative from. That is uh, the um, Honorable Minister for Transportation, His Excellency Rotini Ameshi, the fielding candidate in the African Action Congress. You know, when we, we field in candidates for this 2021 local government elections, you know, the PDP are overwhelmed. You understand? And when we erected the Secretary of the Court across the local government and the 319 wards, when they saw what we are doing and they felt that it is the Honorable Minister for Transportation that have funded us, that funded us for us to do what we are doing. But it will be told, the Honorable Minister of Transportation is innocent of this accusation that they are accusing him and these fingers that they are pointing to the Honorable Minister for Transportation. So someone want to say, as he is, is he trying to tell me that the youths of Rivers cannot come together and mobilize themselves and donate funds for themselves and do what they, it least what pleases them. In gone are the days when we were in the days when we were universities, when we, we we believe in the course, we go an extra mile to sacrifice for the course in the in in, in, in our Aluta, Aluta continue and Victoria Sata. So we do whatever we want to do when it is time for us to mobilize, we mobilize people with our with our money. Okay. We sacrifice to make sure that the struggle continues. I'm curious. And he, he knows. He's an Aluta. Okay. I, 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 he's an Aluta. He's three from Aluta struggle. I want to ask. I want to ask a that question. We, that, I, we can do whatever we want to do as youth. I'm sorry. You understand? I'm and because because the, the, because we, we hear that uh, these people in power who have failed us, including the Samagona Sike, who have failed the people of Ikori local government in terms of good governance, 
giving them the social amenity and giving them what democracy uh, the, the, the democracy entails and the dividends of democracy which we are not seeing today in even in the Korean local government in river state and in nigeria that at large so okay. the use of this day we are we, we we are tired with this system and we are ready to change the narrative and the status quo all right Gosling. we are ready to get it in them and Pro the whole democracy in the system of government all right progress progress can i ask a quick, quick question Elections are on Saturday, and this is Thursday. You have just a day before Saturday. And you have been protesting for grants that would enable you to conduct elections. So I'm wondering, how have you been campaigning, and how have you been going about your business, getting ready for this election, if you're still um, protesting for monies for, from RISIEC on Thursday? Now, no, let, 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 let me answer that. The, the grants are saying it's not our problem. But we needed to state our, our claims and to point out to research that this is our right. And if research said that there were monies that we are giving to IPA chairman, if there were no grants, why would they respond in that manner that the money is with IPA chairman? And let me come in again. The research grant we are talking about, it is in the budget that, that research submitted to the governor just a week ago. And that was what amounted to the 2.8 billion naira that I used to get for this election, which the which the Equatorial local government chairman, who is also running as the candidate for the PDP for second term, is enjoying from. It's because it's from that same budget which which governor can pop up from the purpose of our reverse money that they use to fund the to fund research and they use to fund their PDP campaign too. And they are telling okay. us that they have campaign, they have preferred the, 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 the local government, they have preferred and they have campaigned. And they are using the uh, uh, reverse money to campaign. And they are here telling us that uh, that's why we're we complaining. Why are we talking about grants? Whereas this same grant is in research budget. It is in research budget okay. that they make provision for the for the for the, for the, for the, for the parties that are uh, express interest okay. to run for this 2021 local government election in River State. So someone wants to say no. They are just coming out to think and to talk lies. All right, because we're running out of time, I'll just quickly give you a, a minute, uh, Honorable Wanosike. Um, He's made a truckload of allegations that you have, I mean, you're running for your second tenure, I know this, um, and he's saying that you haven't really done anything for Equerry people, and, and, and that's the reason why uh, there are a lot more people com contesting against you. But I, with all of this happening, I want to, I want to, for you to tell people who are watching, uh, because Reva State has always been a hotbed when it comes to elections, what's the certainty with this? <laughs> What's the certainty that you're going to have free, fair, credible elections yeah, but, devoid but, but, of violence and drama uh, on Saturday? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. First of all, let me make it clear for you not to be partial. You won't tell me about re responding to a question that was asked for one minute. Now, for the purpose of this interview, let me just say clearly. It shows that this young man that I just spoke to now does not live in River State. Maybe he's coming from New York or he just came out from Canada. And maybe because of COVID, he was quarantined and he was just released from quarantine. And so he doesn't know what's happening around the river state. So he can't even know what's happening in the local government. It's on record and your station knows, your own, radio, your own TV station knows. Even the Honorable Minister for Transportation, his boss, his sponsor knows that one of the somewhere has to be branded and transformed the Korean local government that was not transformed under the leadership of Roti Bichibika and as governor of river state. Even when the Korean local government was his own local government. This local government has been reduced by one of the and his team. A local government that was abandoned since 1958 to date. I have 13 projects in the 13 political wards of the Korean local government, including the Honorable Minister's ward. I am building a, a brand new police station. As I'm talking to you, I have commissioned the brand new secretariat with internal roads in the secretariat, new office complexes, new facilities built all over the place. Last two weeks, the former the, the, uh, senator representing Abia State, former governor of State, his son, got married in my local government premises and they came and they saw for themselves the good work of the Lord Almighty that God used us to do for a pair of Korean local government. The Korean people can sleep now. Under the watch of Roti Michi Mika Amitya as governor of the United States, the entire community will be my water inside the forest. It was a ghost town. Today, the Korean local government is safe. Everybody, okay. our mothers have gone back to farm. Our oh. young youths are going back to school. We are Honorable, doing wonderfully well. We're out Miriam. of time. So I, I, you, you, you haven't answered my question. You, you haven't you know answered that my question. clearly that he's not even living in the United States. The Korean people are willing and ready to vote one of the Samuel authority and his team back. Come 17th of April, well, well, 2017. Well, 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 you're campaigning. You're campaigning. 152,000 votes. 
are your, standing up for the People's Democratic Party, the Korean local government. And so also the other uh, two local but, government. We're out right of right time. Right. We're out of time, Honorable Wanosike. I'm sorry, we're out of time and you're campaigning. So you owe us a check because you have used our airtime to campaign for the PDP. But I want to say thank you to you, Mr. Progress, for being part of the conversation. Honorable Wanosike, thank you for being here. We are out of time. Uh, we are hoping that uh, River States will have a very peaceful local government elections. Thank you for being part of the conversation. Thank you very much. We need to go. Thank you, guys. Well, we'll take a short break, and when we come back, I'll give you my take. Well, here's my take. The conversation about insecurity in Nigeria has been taken more, or has to be taken more seriously, because we seem not to understand how bad things are across the country. There are kidnappings, there are robberies, court clashes, banditry, and of course Boko Haram. Regions are creating security networks to protect their citizens because of how bad things are. We're under-policed and our security forces have been stretched thin. More disturbing is the fact that there are those whose job is to stoke the fire and fan the embers of regional hate and ethnic biases, now causing more problems and adding salt to the injury. We're facing an absolute tough time as a country, but as we call on the federal and state governors to rise to the occasion, we all have a role to play. Let's stop this hate game and, and the segregation. Let's build and not tear down, because Nigeria belongs to us all. We cannot go anywhere else, so let's not destroy our home. I'm Mariana Cohn, thanking you for being part of the conversation. Have a good evening.